and let's get started. Today we're going to make this really cute hat. This one here can be like a winter fall hat and the other one for summer spring. So this first hat here I have made with a yarn under single crochet. You can see it's quite tight weave and is perfect for an acrylic yarn. The other hat I'm making out of a crafting twine. So this here is much stiffer and so we need a looser stitch for this. So this one here we are doing with just the normal single crochet. You can see how it's like a V stitch on here. So because of the twine we have to make a bigger stitch but both ways the hat's going to be perfect. So today I will be using the Burnett Premium 100% acrylic yarn. It's a number four medium weight. So this is what I will make for the, um, the wintry hat. And the other one I'll be using the craft twine. So this craft twine I just picked up from the dollar store. It was pretty inexpensive. 150 meters and you're going to need the entire ball to make one hat. As you can see it's quite flexible. When you look at it it is smaller but it is very different to crochet with. We're going to start with the top portion of the hat. So we're just going to make a circle. I will show you both ways to make this with the yarn under and the yarn over. So let's start with the magic circle. There are many ways to make this magic circle. Just find one that's best for you. This is how I make mine. We can start with the chain one. We will then put six single crochet into the circle. I am going to be doing a yarn under. You can do your single crochet however you would like with a yarn under or a yarn over. A yarn under will give a much tighter weave. So you can see when I pull up the yarn, my yarn is under. Pull it up, then I yarn over and pull through two. Again, I put it in, yarn under, up, yarn over and pull through two. You can do your single crochet however you like. And this is number six. We can then pull snug. We will not join, we're just going to continue our rounds, but our first round will be six stitches. This is how your stitch is going to look if you are using the twine and doing a yarn over. So again, we're just going to start with the magic circle. And then we're going to do the chain one and then the six single crochet. So with this, we're doing yarn over and pulling through two. And again, yarn over. I'm only gonna show you bits and pieces of the one with the twine up until the very end. We'll mostly be doing the acrylic in the video. So that's number five number six, and then we're going to pull snug. You can see how you have to keep these stitches much looser. We're going to start in that first single crochet that we made, and we're going to put two single crochet into that stitch and in each stitch around. So two single crochet in that first stitch, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a marker in the very first stitch that we do. So let's just mark the beginning of each row. So right in here is my first stitch. We can now continue around with the two single crochet in each stitch. So this one will be 11 and this will be stitch 12. So round two is going to have 12 stitches. So we've come around to the beginning and we're going to remove the marker. We're going to start the next round again with two single crochet in the first stitch. 
make sure you place the marker in that first stitch. So right there. And let's put two single crochet in the first stitch. We're then going to put one single crochet in the next and then repeat this all the way around. So two single crochet, one, two, and then one single crochet. And just continue around. Here is our last two stitches, so one, two, and then one. So this round is going to be 18 stitches. Let's remove the marker and put two single crochet in that first stitch, placing the marker back in the first single crochet. And this round we're gonna do two single crochet in the first stitch. So we're going to put two in the first stitch and then we're going to go one single crochet and then one single crochet and then we're going to repeat this. So two single crochet, one, two, and then one single crochet and one single crochet. And this is our last one, so two single crochet, one, two, and then one single crochet, and one single crochet. So this round here is 24 stitches. So let's start the next round. So we're going to start with two single crochet. From here on in, we're going to call this an increase. So let's do our increase, putting our marker in that first single crochet. And then we're going to do three single crochet. So first the increase, and then three single crochet. One, two, three, and let's repeat. So increase, and then three, two, and three. And just repeat this all the way around. So increase and three single crochet and one more to go. We'll do our increase and three single crochet. By now this pattern has been typical of most patterns to do a circle, but this is where we're going to start changing it up. So round five will equal 30 stitches. Let's remove the marker. 
So this is where we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to find our two increases, and in the middle of that are three single crochets. So here's an increase, and here's an increase, and we have three stitches. So we're going to start our increase in the middle of that three stitch. So we're going to go over three. We're going to go one, two, and three. So we're just adding three single crochet and we're going to start our round here in the middle. So this is where we will start our increase. So from here is where we're going to put our marker. And we're going to put the marker in the first single crochet of that increase. So what this does is it alternates the increase so you don't have it all in the same place. So the increase in the round below is here and now we're in the middle of it here. So we're just moving over to do it. So let's do our increase and four single crochet all the way around. So increase and four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. We'll see you when you get around to the beginning again. So round six is going to equal 36 stitches. Let's remove the marker again. So this time, in the four stitches that we have in between the increases, we're going to move over three because there's two in the middle, so we're just going to do the first one here. So again, we're going to add three stitches, and then we will start in the center of the other round below. So here is our three stitches that we're adding, and now we're going to start with the increase. So two single crochet for the increase. We're just going to mark the first one. So here's our increase. And then we will do five single crochet. So one, two, sorry, that's three, four, and five. And then repeat this all the way around. Start with the increase. And then five single crochet. We'll see you back at the beginning. So round seven is going to equal 42 stitches. You can see how nice and round it is already becoming. Let's start the next round. So we want to start our increase in the middle of the two. We had five stitches from the round below, so it'll be in the third one. So in that five, right in there, we're gonna do the increase. So this time we're gonna be adding four single crochet to move over there. So let's just add four. So we're just moving over to the center. And in the next one, we're gonna start our increase. So right in here. So this is where we will start our row. And for this row, we're gonna do an increase and then six single crochet and then repeat. So we're going to do this for the entire round.
So for the end of round eight, we will have 48 stitches. Let's do round nine. This time we're just going to move over four. So let's add four single crochet. Going in, we're just finding the middle. So right in there to start our round. So moving over four, one, two, three, and four. And this is where we'll start our next round. So starting with the increase, and then this time it'll be seven single crochet. So increase and seven single crochet. And we will do this all the way around. So round nine will be 54 stitches. For the next round, again, let's find the center. So in between the two increases. So this time we will move over five. So moving over five stitches to find the center. So by now you can kind of see the pattern where we're just gonna put the increases in the middle of the one from the round below and this just evenly spaces it out. I'll show you a few more rounds and then I can show you all the fun projects we can do with this circle. So once we've moved over, we've got our increase and now we're gonna go eight single crochet. So round 10 will equal 60 stitches. Doing another increase, this time we will add five single crochet. And that's where we'll start our round. So just always finding the middle So let's do five stitches to move over. And this is where we'll start our next round. So starting with an increase. So this round will be increase and then nine single crochet.
So round 11 will be 66 stitches. Moving over to the center again, this time we will add six single crochet. So six single crochet, and then we can start our round. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now we'll start the increase. So for this round, we're going to do an increase and then 10, sti 10 single crochet and repeat that one all the way around. So starting with the increase and 10 single crochet. So round 12 will be 72 stitches. So with my twine, I have already reached my seven inches or 18 centimeters after round 12. So I will stop here. I will show you two more rounds using the acrylic yarn. Moving over to find center, we're gonna add six single crochet. So finding the center. And moving over six. One, two, three, and four, five, six. And this is where we'll start the increase. So for this round, we're gonna do an increase, then 11 single crochet, and then repeat. So round 13 will equal 78 stitches. We're gonna do one more round. So for this round, we will add seven single crochet. Going into that center stitch, so it'll be seven stitches over. two, and four, and this is six, and seven. Then starting our increase. So for this round, we will do the increase and then 12 single crochet. So at the end of this round, you will have 84 stitches. So by now you should have about seven inches or 18 centimeters. This is for an adult size, so you can see how you can adjust it smaller if you would like, or you can even go bigger. From here, we're gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Let's place the marker in our first stitch. We're going to leave this marker in as we do our next rounds. So 
So let's continue around for about 10 more rows. Leave this marker in so we can count your rows. Remember, just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Continue to mark the first stitch of every row. We'll see you when you get to the end of the rows. So you want it to measure about 6 inches or 15 centimeters, but make sure that the hat is touching the top of your ears. As you can see here, my acrylic is 11 rows and the twine is 9 rows to make the correct measurement. So you can see you can adjust it for any size of head. We are now ready to start the brim. You can remove your first marker. So our first row will be an increase. So we're going to start this round with an increase. So two single crochet into the first one. And then we're going to do three single crochet. So one, two, and three. Be sure to put the marker at the beginning of your row, so in that first stitch that we made. So now we can just repeat this. So increase, and then three single crochet. Repeat this all the way around, and I'll see you back at the beginning. For our next round, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. You don't really have to count your rows at this point. You can just continue crocheting along with me. We'll see you back around at the beginning. We are now going to do another round with increase. So this time we're going to do an increase to start. And then place your marker. And then we will do four single crochet and repeat this all the way around. So putting your marker in and then four single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Just repeat. You can now see how your edge is starting to turn up for the brim of the hat. For our next round, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Your hat should now look something like this. Let's continue. Let's do one more row of one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. If you'd like to stop at this point, you can, or if you're doing like a child size hat, this is a great little brim for the edge. So you can see how nice it is. We're going to do one more increase round and then two more rounds after that. So for this round, we're going to start with an increase, and then we're going to put six single crochet, and then repeat.
So six single crochet. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now let's repeat. So now we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch for two more rows. So just go ahead and put one single crochet all the way around. So just marking that first stitch again. And then just one single crochet in each stitch. One single crochet. And let's continue this then for two more rows. We can then cut our yarn. Let's remove the stitch marker. So to finish off, we're going to do the last stitch will be a slip stitch. So just slip stitch and pull your yarn through. We can now weave in the end. So with your darning needle, we're going to weave in an invisible close. So we're going to take our yarn and put it from the front to the back in this single crochet here from the round below. And then we're going to go into the slip stitch, so just into the back side of the slip stitch, and then just give a little pull. As you can see, it's kind of created an extra little stitch or V. So now we can just weave the end back. So once we weave it back, then you can see how it gives a smooth edge finish. So now we can just finish weaving this end and also our starting end. Thank you so much for watching. I sure hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have been making it. And stay tuned for more fun things to come. Thanks. Bye.